you've seen other countries, modern countries, you know, they have electricity and running water and all, and all these other conveniences. We've seen them fall into and become a brutal dictatorship. Today we... I think it could very well come to that based on the things that are happening in the news and we're seeing, you know, the collapse of our economy, so many different things happening. They have paved roads, they have running water, they have electricity, they have cable TV. So what is it that keeps it from happening in the United States? Being Americans, we have a lot of freedoms. And what if those freedoms are taken away? Just look at history, look at the history of the United States and the history of the world and acknowledge that things like this can happen, things like this have happened, things like this are happening right now. No matter what your purpose is, you must leave. If you do not disperse, you may be arrested and or subject to other police action. The use of riot control agents and or less lethal munitions, which could cause risk of injury to those who are injury. joke about tensions between me and the press, but uh, honestly, what they say doesn't bother me. I understand we've got an adversarial system. I'm a mellow sort of guy. And that's why I invited Luther, my anger translator, to join me here tonight. In our fast-changing world, traditions like the White House Correspondents' Dinner are important. I mean, really? What is this dinner? Greeting citizens of America. We are anonymous. It has come to our attention that some of you are still ignoring the fact of the operation of Jade Helm operating in the seven states of the United States. When will you wake up? The economy is nearing a final collapse. The martial law beta is taking steps to finalize. How can you stay asleep from what is truly going on? Get off the televisions and start fighting with us for the purpose for humanity and freedom. Violence is so bad in one major American city that the governor is considering calling in the National Guard. We're going to take a closer look at what that really means. While it wasn't a real invasion, or Chris Trankman says, it looked about as real as it could get. With machine guns rattling, wearing full gear on state-of-the-art war machines, the Special Operations Forces display their stuff in bright sunshine, something they normally do in the shadows. This was different. Uh, this was a first for me. <laughs> Usually no one sees what we do. Part of this is to demonstrate what the city does so that, that if it happens in real life, people will have some understanding of what's going to happen. 
So you got to see a, a bunch of the pieces of capability through this scenario. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Uh, this is something we constantly worry about. The threat is the threat is always there. You know what happens in other regions of the world is important, but I think we have enough of a homegrown issue that all of this needs to be practiced continuously. So these people who hold themselves out to be patriots are not. They're nothing more than domestic terrorists. <laughs> Training exactly for what? I'm a sovereign citizen. I refuse to recognize you guys. I refuse to recognize you. That was interesting. Protesters in Anaheim, California clashed with police for a fourth day following two fatal shootings by police of suspected gang members, one on Saturday, one Sunday. Why do you wear that mask? Because I'm scared. I'm scared for my life and my family's life. One of the dead men, 25-year-old Manuel Diaz, was apparently unarmed. If we don't use our voices and we don't let these people hear our voice, Nothing will be changed. He was down to the shot of the second guy. The people were supposed to be protecting us. The cops are the ones doing this. Because despite our differences, we count on the press to shed light on the most important issues of the day. And we can count on Fox News to terrify old white people with some nonsense. Do you have any people being paid by the CIA? who are working for television networks. We do have people who submit pieces to other to American journals. That was ridiculous. Who are contributing to a major circulation American journal. We won't always see eye to eye. Oh, and CNN, thank you so much for the wall-to-wall -wall Ebola coverage. For two whole weeks, we were one step away from the walking dead. And then y'all got up and just moved on to the next day. That was awesome. Oh, and by the way, just if you haven't noticed, you don't have Ebola! Who are contributing to the national news services, AP and UPI. Well, again, I think we're getting into the kind of detail, Mr. Chairman, that I'd prefer to handle in executive session. When the police are asked, why do you have these MRAPs, these armored vehicles from the Pentagon, they say, we need to be able to fight sovereign citizens or libertarians or the Tea Party. Now, just add that to all the training manuals and all the admissions, and then we start getting footage from Florida and California and other states this week that we've been airing. And every time we get footage, they're training to attack and beat and arrest and shoot and kill patriots. And then now we have chilling footage of armed army forces, National Guard, blocking roads in California and marching around, basically commanding the public. This is what a slow motion martial law scenario looks like. Did you guys just paint this? Or did they? Oh, you, you got this company didn't? Someone else that we received that song. Oh, wow. Crazy. Check this shit out. UN coming out of Alabama. UN trucks. These are, these look like brand new fucking. Brand new vehicles.
here. See there? Look at that. Now, is that not the same as this? I mean, is there a similarity here? Do you get me? We're in big trouble, people. We're in big trouble. So what we're doing here, and let's not kid about it, we're building a domestic army and we're shrinking the military because the government is afraid of its own citizens. The last time more than 10 terrorists were in the same place at one time was September 11th, and all these vehicles in the world wouldn't have prevented it, nor would it have helped anybody. So I don't know where we're going to use this many vehicles and this many troops. Concord is just one little cog in the wheel. We're building an army over here, and I can't believe that people aren't seeing it. Is everybody blind? Here, look, you see? This right here is the starting of the New World Order. So you can see uh, how they're about to, uh, they're training already. Um, and these guys more likely are not Americans. They're uh, probably uh, foreign troops that are getting ready to invade America. Hawaii National Guard search and rescue soldiers recently participated in the first ever search and rescue extraction training event between the U.S. and Chinese militaries. During the three-day disaster management exercise, search and extraction professionals got a chance to learn from each other while working hand-in-hand -in, -hand in a simulated disaster environment. Well, I come from a, a way of life uh, in the military where you don't buy weapons that you don't intend to use. Why would you? And if you look at what the Department of Homeland Security has been purchasing over the last year, uh, it comes out to like 1.6 billion rounds of ammunition, more than 7,000 fully automatic assault weapons, 2,700 MRAP type vehicles, and now drones. Those are instruments of war. Department of Homeland Security's, who are they going to fight a war against? How do you answer that? I don't know. That's a good question. So these people, who hold themselves out to be patriots are not. They're nothing more than domestic terrorists. The terrorism in Boston. Yeah. Many people have wondered if it took you right back to 9-11 when you heard it. Well, at first, uh, you know, I was deeply concerned uh, that um, there might have been a organized plot. Uh, this could have been, um, uh, you know, another cons uh, organized highly organized attack on the country. Whenever they hold, have the files uh, about Area 51 and the UFOs, yeah. and I go through everything to find out what happened. Right. Did you do that? <laughs> That's why you will not be president. <laughs> the the aliens won't list. let it happen. <laughs> you reveal all their secrets. <laughs> they, 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 they exercise strict control over us. Say, and of course, so did you look? Did you see? Did you... Explore. I, I, I can't reveal anything. Oh, really? Because President Clinton said he did go right in and he did check and there was nothing. Well, you know, that's, that's what we're instructed to say. <laughs> As I have gotten older, I have decided we really need camps for adults. <laughs> and we need the kind of camps that you all run. I mean, really. I told you that I was going to tell you about the FEMA camps or the FEMA prisons today. This is something that I snapped on the air because somebody called me up and said, "Do you? why don't you talk about the FEMA prisons? And I said, can we just settle the FEMA prison thing? I don't believe in the FEMA prison. If they don't exist, it's irresponsible to not debunk this story. We have an independent group on this program looking into it, turning over every stone. I am going to bring you this story. This program is not beholden. This is going to drive the, the conspiracy theorists let, the crazy. Let me out of this. They're making me say this. Help. This program is not beholden to anybody. We answer to ourselves. I answer to me. I lost sleep last night worrying about this story, thinking about this story, and wanting to make sure that I got it right. The only thing that I answer to is myself. And I just want to be able to look at myself in the mirror and also sleep at night. It's happening right in the shadow of the Adrian R. Center. Police right now have blocked off Biscayne Boulevard. If you take a look, swing back over here. This may be involved in this training or not. Again, let me tell you what all of this is that we know of. It's a joint military training exercise involving local police, also military. As
they started shooting innocent people with the, those little... The rubber bullets. Yeah. An unarmed civilian running away that's an alleged gang member that they say is alleged, and they shoot and kill this guy. He's dead. The police officers are shooting women and children and letting their dogs out on him. Where's Obama now? What if your son was Manuel Diaz? What if he was murdered by Anaheim police? They just started running after people. The cops just started running after people. Yeah. And they can crush us. I mean, you've got Sheila Jackson Lee, who is calling for martial law. That's, that's insane. That's getting rid of the Constitution of the United States. So we've got a government here that seems to be wanting to create the conditions that they want to take our Second Amendment. You know, they're, they're going for the Second Amendment. I just wonder, I've never seen you guys out here, what you're training for. Yeah, we out here, what we're doing is, we're part of a big National Guard exercise. Right, but what I get concerned about is when I, I know that they have FEMA camps building all over the country, which congressmen deny, and then they're caught on tape admitting that they're doing them. They got military training, and, and in some place even doing, like, uh, illegal checkpoints just to... To see that, and and what I see, the the federal government, Homeland Security, buying over two billion rounds of ammo, ordered just in the last year, and they're building up big time military for something. And it's not just for natural disasters. I think they they're personally, I think they know because of the derivative meltdown, they're getting ready for an economic collapse and you know, martial law and everything else. I can't really say on that, you know. The Bravo Fleet Marines training for riot control. Now, they always go under the guise that it's for overseas, but this is what they're doing in Virginia. Senator Lindsey Graham, who supports this bill, says, quote, the homeland is part of the battlefield and people can be held without trial, whether an American citizen or not. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The original Constitution, I think it is an imperfect document, and I think it is a document that reflects uh, some deep flaws 